let me come to Michael and uh, Michael, if you can give us a little bit about your business and what you do and how was the business for you in the last five months? Yeah. Uh, so I'm the co-founder of Besso Wines and really we started the brand about a year and a half ago and it's really on the idea that we're producing a better for you wine experience. So we take, you know, any other wine and we make sure that it goes through a certain processing that doesn't have, you know, goes through almost like a regulation. So typically, you know, before this, we saw that a lot of things went into wine that we never saw before. So pesticides, herbicides, foreign chemicals, all these like terrible stuff that went into the winemaking process that none of us knew because there's no labeling on wine. So we started to dig deeper. We saw there was like intense amount of sugar and different ingredients that like we've never heard of. So, so we wanted to, my brother and I wanted to create a company that was a clean wine, which is why all of our wines are certified organic. There's zero grams of sugar, low in sulfites. So you don't get any headaches and they're 12 and a half percent. So typically you get a little better of a buzz than a white claw or any other drink you, you might have from a can. Um, within the last five months, it's been really interesting. I think you know, when we first, when this first happened, I mean, it's, we've only been in the business for, a year and a half. So it's kind of our first time going, kind of like going through this process. And when, whenever we, we got through COVID, you know, we thought this was going to be the worst thing for us because we didn't have an online, we didn't have an online like uh, shop, like we didn't have Shopify at that time. Right. So we didn't mm -hmm. really make any sales. And, and then as soon as we started, you know, linking our products to our website, we saw that we yeah. were getting more sales online than we were ever through our whole distribution. So, wow. so we quickly found out that, you know, within a three month period, within the last three months, we've done, we, we've almost tripled last year's sales, which is really interesting because we're seeing more people are drinking more than ever. So, which is great. But at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. there's, there's a huge demand for, for online you know, delivery for alcohol. And uh, that's something that I never expected before. And I don't think the industry ever saw that either. I think it was, you know, majority of like, you know, food and beverage products that were not alcoholic. And now you're seeing you know, people sign up for subscriptions. And, and now we're, we're working with a lot of different restaurant groups that we never had the opportunity to work with before. So such as like Veggie Grill. And I don't know if you guys have heard of that brand, but really, you know, they came up, up to us and they said, you know, people are trying to stay away from the wine experience as far as, you know, having a, you know, someone behind the counter who's opening up a bottle of wine and you know, pouring into a cup, touching that cup, touching the wine, and then handing it back to the customer. It, it you know, it, it gets, it gets a little, um, you know, it, it's not, it's not the same experience that we had before. So now they wanted more of a convenient, right. convenient uh, situation where it was just more of a grab and go and less people were touching it. So now, you know, we saw that we're, we're working with a lot more restaurants than we ever were before. And wow. we hope to support, you know, the, the on-premises that we have and hopefully future on-premises as they start to open up from COVID. And I think a lot of that is through like Postmates and because the products mm -hmm. are really easy to transport versus the wine mm -hmm. bottle, it's almost like the perfect product to, to ship. Wow. What a, what a story you've got there. I mean, one and a half.